the head of the studio asked me, uh, will you please make room for a white protagonist? Really? Yeah, and, and, and I said, uh, I can promise you one thing, that all the waiters in this film will be white. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> because my roots are strong that I can fly. Bengali man, Mr. Chakravarti, who would come on his bicycle and teach me the sitar. I tried different things and one of the things I was very interested in was performance and, and theatre. And uh, Chakravarti taught me my first lesson, which is that you have to choose what you want to do. You can't do everything and be excellent. Yes, I did play Cleopatra opposite. You did, right? Opposite Shashi Tharoor's I Antony. This, yeah. And uh, and and um, yeah, and I sort of didn't love him at the time. And I used to eat onions mm. before love scenes. Well, when I showed Salam Bombay at the Cannes Film Festival, I had no money to uh, live in a hotel at Cannes. So really? I rented Even a pension. Even after the success of No, Salam during, Bombay. during, okay. while it was showing. Yeah. And I re rented a pension, uh, a little room, with an old lady <laughs> in Cannes. Uh, and, and, and I, of course, we didn't have cell phones those days. <coughs> and then the sales brochure of the festival is like, where do you contact for Salam Bombay sales? I gave the lady of the pension's number. And, and that was the only information that I could give. There were no emails, nothing. And that night after the premiere, which was fantastic and many 30 minute ovation and all of this, I came back to the pension about 6 a.m. and that phone, poor lady, it just kept ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing. And, ringing. and, and by the end of uh, like 10 hours, we, I had sold like the entire world uh, without quite knowing how to do it. But uh, except America that held out. But, but, uh, you know. Hi. Hi. You're the director, aren't you? Right. So. Well, masala is an Hindi word. The Indian word means a collection of hot spices of all kinds. And in this movie, it is masala is a love. The masala music. It has Delta blues. It has Denzel. It has an Indian woman. It has a cast from five lands and it's shot in two countries. That's a masala.
last made Kama Sutra here in Amer Fort and we called it, we camouflaged and called it Tara and Maya and 21 uh, MLAs would routinely visit our sets to see whether we were making pornography uh, and uh, as soon as they would come in, I would throw white duster coats on our on Naveen Andrews and Indira Varma and and have them spout dialogue like "Ye shaadi nahi ho sakti." made in response to Hum Aapke Hain Kaun, which is the wonderful Bollywood film that had 21 songs about a, about a wedding and we all had fun, but it was nothing to do with what it was like, really. Yeah. So I made a film that I could see myself and my family in it, and my family is in it because they were all free and didn't charge me a dime. It's a very aesthetics are very important yeah. to Mira. It's it's a, it's a really integral part of her storytelling, you know. And I remember she wanted to do some stuff to me visually as well. I was like, what? What? No. What, what are yeah. you doing? <laughs> but it it makes sense, and her her aesthetic vision is very central to her storytelling. You can see it so in everybody, it, and, and she she touches on everybody. And I recently ran into uh, Juliet Lewis and we, it was an award ceremony and we were all having a few glasses of wine and pretty loose-tongued. And she says, Mira, when are you going to cast me again? And I said, darling, when white people interest me, I'll cast you again. You know, so it's a political act. <laughs> 